Of team coverage tonight, tracking the reaction to the Attorney General's summary. Ohio lawmakers and political analysts are sharing their thoughts on that summary and commenting on what should happen next. Two News reporter Denbro Bogart joining us live to continue our team coverage. That's right, and here is the exact four page summary Attorney General William Barr sent to U.S. Congress. At the end of it, Barr says he intends to release as much of the report as possible, but multiple lawmakers now requesting he release the full findings soon. Nobody with Donald Trump's campaign nor the president himself colluded with Russia during the election. That's according to the summary released by Attorney General William Barr on special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Well, I think this is good news for the country because it shows that there was an exhaustive investigation. This is not something that uh, the Mueller team undertook lightly in concluding. The summary also indicates no conclusion on obstruction of justice. In the sense that he might have been involved in something that was legal, but was a little, let's say, fishy, that's not been determined yet. But we at least know that legally he's not going to be indicted for anything at all. Right now, the Department of Justice is processing the full report to figure out exactly what material by law can and cannot be made public. Senator Portman saying, I believe the report should be made public with important exceptions for grand jury or classified information. And I hope the Attorney General provides as much information to the public as he possibly can as soon as he can. Senator Brown sharing a similar sentiment, saying, A summary report is not enough. It's important that the American public have the answers they deserve about the full scope of the Mueller report and its findings. Now, Dr. Clausen does say it's not clear if any other individuals could be implicated in this investigation. The report just says there was no collusion from the president or his team. Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.